exciting episode of CoreCast. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Datasat RS20i and how we integrate it into our fully digital home theater systems. Uh, this is a really excellent unit. Uh, the sound quality is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and what we really like about it is it's one of the only units on the market that has multi-channel digital outputs, which makes it very easy for us to integrate it with our Kratos fully digital amplifiers. Uh, to make a fully digital home theater system. And one of the cool things about that concept is that you're basically eliminating A to D and D to A conversion and a whole lot of the digital signal processing that most uh, AV receivers are going to have in their box. Uh, the other cool element, and obviously we're a little bit obsessed with power supplies, is that this is the only unit that I know of on the market that's using a linear power supply. Um, the unit was designed by uh, David Kerstetter uh, and uh, is... Uh, you know, from the D to A converters, A to D converters, and all the electronic circuitry that's in here, it is absolutely state of the art. Uh, there is not another processor on the market that comes anywhere close. Uh, the other cool thing about it, obviously, is that it has almost limitless I.O. potential. Uh, not only is it a modular design with uh, insert cards, so you can scale the number of channels that you're doing, but you can also do uh, 16 channel surround sound. Uh, for true 3D surround sound, which means there's seamless integration from front to back. Um, it also allows you to do active crossovers uh, with several stackable uh, EQ and parametric EQ uh, functions, which I'll actually show you on the front in a little bit. Uh, the other cool element is that it also integrates with uh, Direct Live. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Direct Live is, is it's basically a multi-phase room correction system, and we've been using it on our Mac Mini systems now for a few months. Uh, so we were really excited to see it on here, mainly because Direct Live is probably one of the few room correction algorithms that we've found that is uh, adds to the sound rather than taking away. Um, and the reason that it does that is it's a multi-phase room correction uh, design that also corrects impulse response. Um, and whereas most of the room corrections uh, that are available really just use either linear or nonlinear phase room correction, and so it's not taking advantage of anywhere near the potential of, of the direct lie that you can do. Uh, the data set has a built in mic pre. Uh, you can also use a mic matrix or for using multiple mics in your room to do the correction uh, a, a lot through a larger space. Uh, which makes it extremely effective um, just because you're correcting both time and phase on this magnitude response of your speakers. Uh, if you're running active crossovers uh, through the, the, the data set unit, uh, you can also use the Direct Live to correct any of the amplitude errors that you're getting in that crossover, uh, which also is hugely beneficial for those who are wanting to run your mains as active speakers and then running the surrounds as regular passive. Uh, the 16 channels of output uh, for digital and 16 channels for analog um, are hot all the time, so you can use a combination of analog and digital in your surround sound, uh, which is also kind of handy if you don't want to go fully digital for everything or you want to have an analog uh, subwoofer. Um, that's what we usually do in our systems. We'll have a separate passive subwoofer that we power from an analog amplifier to get a little bit more power for the bottom end. All right, we are looking at the front panel here of the Dataset RS20i. Uh, obviously, you can see that there's a lot of different input channels, selecting the input channels, and these are totally customizable. Uh, there are 20 presets that you can, actually more than 20 presets that you can use to set up whatever channels and settings and EQs that you want to do uh, for each of your input sources. Um, I'll also show you the back of the unit to uh, show you what kind of I.O. functionality that it has. Um, and also, if you look at the setup, we have it kind of on the expert settings, but you have all kinds of things from the uh, from um, from your parametric EQs for the bottom end, uh, which we don't have running on this one right now, um, and also the one third octave that we've also used. Uh, if you're running the mic pre, you can also run pink noise through this thing and manually adjust the EQs, uh, which is is fairly effective if you're doing a um, if you're doing active crossovers and want to do some some speaker correction before you run the direct live. Um, and then you also have uh, you have the channel routing, which is uh, will basically allow you to set the active crossover. Right now, we do have an active crossover set up on this one. We were using this unit um, at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest a couple of weekends ago, and um, so we were using this actually as our active crossover for for one of the speakers that we were demoing. Um, we weren't at the show actually using the the direct live. Um, but it is highly recommended and, and is very easy to set up and use. 
uh, just to measure your room and your speakers, um, especially for multi-channel. Currently, the Derek Live uh, will do 12-channel surround sound for a correction, um, but you can also uh, set it up to do, uh, I know that they have an update coming in that'll do 16-channel. Um, uh, if you look at the front panel here, oops, I'll turn this thing off real quick. Uh, if you look at the front panel, it has a USB input for upgrading the firmware and doing updates for the software. The rear panel uh, obviously has a lot of stuff on it. Uh, what we're looking at here, obviously the, the digital in and outs, uh, use DB25 connectors, which comes with, uh, uh, Datasat actually provides wire harnesses for each of these, uh, depending on what you're configuring your system for. Um, and obviously they have different expansion panels here to add additional channels or functionality as, as they become updated for the, for the unit. Um, it's fairly easy to, to continue to improve this unit over time just because it's a modular design with, with firmware upgrades and uh, with these different card inserts that you can do. Uh, several HDMI inputs, uh, analog inputs, um, just standard stereo right and left inputs. It also has SPDIF and TOSLink that you can use. Um, all selectable from the front panel. So this is the RS20i. It's really excellent for integrating into a regular home theater. Um, and obviously with our fully digital home theaters, we're even eliminating more things from the signal path, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, eliminating the DDA conversion from home theater processors is, is hugely powerful. Um, uh, obviously the DDA converters in this unit are, are second to none. They are absolutely stellar. Uh, it, it really has some excellent circuitry in here um, and uh, we're really excited to be installing it into our fully digital home theaters. It's very scalable. Um, a lot of our customers will start with just one fully digital amplifier uh, and add other channels as, as budget allows. Um, it makes it very easy to kind of scale it or start with an analog system and, and convert it to digital uh, because the wire harnesses are all built in. Uh, for you. It makes it very easy to install, makes it so you don't have to worry about cables and, and all of those hassles. Uh, and obviously because it's all fully digital, uh, it's a whole lot less sensitive to, to all of those little tweaks and things that, that your system may have been sensitive to in the past. Uh, so the results are, are really, really a stellar system that sounds excellent and has a lot of versatility. Uh, it's all controllable from another computer or from your iPad. Um, has a great iPad app. Um, and like I said, because it's so modular and scalable, there's really, uh, there are very few things that you uh, can't do with the unit. Um, I know that if you were to ask them for other features, uh, they will research it and work on implementing it in the future.